Hi guys, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, right, so today is obviously something a little bit different considering this isn't like something we've known about for a while, if that makes sense. So what Reese wanted to do for a while, however he's never had like, the chance to have a garret as such just yet. Uh, but Summit popped up an opportunity and Reese obviously took it. So today we are taking, well, Reese currently is taking a turbo off. Um, yeah, so the downpipe, not the downpipe. Well, actually, yeah, the exhaust video from the other day and obviously the boost pipe video from the other day. Things are changing. Reese has got to take the boost pipes back off and he is currently taking off the downpipe right now. Um, and then we've got obviously a bit to take off as well. Because Reese is going to be fitting a big juicy garret. When are you going to be fitting that? When I get it next week. So he's going to be fitting it pretty much right away. Um, yeah, so today he's taking the turbo off, which is pretty, pretty big job. But we'll see. It seems as though we're still on the downpipe because we've encountered a problem it doesn't want to come off. So this is the first problem of the day and this is like the first thing is actually done. So the downpipe off the turbo is now off. However, Reese is now taking it off the cat. What do you want? I can give it you. The, the fattest extension. Fattest. This one? No, that's a ratchet. Oh, this, this one. Yeah. Got it. Um, so that is next, and then is that gonna be easy? Or we could take, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Be easy. And she's cooking, and then we've got to do what next? The line or something? Uh, no, we'll start taking all the exhaust manifold bolts out from the top, okay, and then try and get as many as we can from underneath. Yeah, I hope we got that. Step two complete. So, and what's next now? Exhaust manifold studs. Fun bit. Okay, okay. <laughs> we'll see. It's by fun, I'm guessing it's really hard. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see turbo. It's right like at the back. Yeah. Okay. And with these. And studs. you've got to get this off to get to it. Uh, or is it not really matter yeah, about the yeah. yeah. To get to the studs you do, which is the pen the ants. And what have you got replacing this then? Silent pipe. Oh. I see. Nice. The silent pipe doesn't have a mass sensor. That sensor I just took out. Need... Is that sensor going with it as well? Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, I like it like that. Someone said on the last video to get rid of the filler. Trench Yeah. Trench Oh dear, you're going to pop it off. Yes. You're going to break it otherwise. Let's stick it up like that. Well, I thought it was my car then. It seems to like it collects a lot of water, that. Is there a reason why? Uh, well, it drips in through pipe then, doesn't it? The shit tanks and that goes into the engine. I thought my engine didn't go in. Well, of course, water gets through them. Well, mine engine's never wet. I should have thought it was fucking there, innit? Oh, can you reach it or can you not? Yeah, I just got one to bit me up because she's got the heat shield in. She's getting in the way. Hmm. She got all the studs back there. How many is it all to go? A lot. There's a few on it on. I think there's five or six top, five or six bottom. And they're all dead awkward. For real? Fucking thing is killing. What else needs to go off now anyway? What do you mean? Well, where are these going as well? No. I was about to say. Oh, these are sort of pretty fly, aren't they? Where are you touching now? Heat shielding. Well, we've got quite a lot to get to the turbo. Put your heart off. Oh, come on. 
it's gonna be awkward for you. Yeah, Volvo really love putting turbos at the back of engines. You need like a mirror right there. Uh, so you can see what you're actually doing. Uh, yeah. It sounds like there's movement. No, that's just the heat shielding. Oh. That's nerting. I wonder how much companies charge to take the turbo off. Can't see it being cheap. Oh, exactly. When you can do it yourself. Might as well too soon. What are you looking for now? Disconnecting these oil lines. Oh. Do you not want to move your blanket before you yeah, do that? I do. I do. Be a good idea. Well, have you got any tubs or anything? Yeah. What? Because I can fill the car. Ah. Go on underneath. Mm. Chop, chop. Eating. We'll come out there quick. So we, <laughs> we should have probably emptied the radiator. I don't know if this is going to all... I'm just going to send it, I think. Okay. But it's first time for everything. Is that is your water and oil your wines coming out? You what? What? Your water lines and your oil. No, this is just water. This. Just water. Yeah, it looks pretty dirty. It's red. Ugh. Coolant's not clear, is it? Oh! Oh, it went, it's going all over you. It's pissing. <laughs> yeah, you hold it in there. Oh, it do you? It goes everywhere. Oh, it's weird. It's actually It's weird. actually... Yeah. Is it stain? What? Louis? He's trumping. Oh, oh. oh it's like an elephant's wee. Not that I've seen an elephant wee, but it sounds like one. We might need a backup tub here on. Oh, um, have like, we got one? That one eats like ah! a backup tub. We're the fact that recently I had a fucking fit at me. That you, was You sketchy. tried to kick me. You, <laughs> you couldn't have opened the tub any slower. Have you seen... <laughs> oh. Hun, the other tub oh. isn't even full yet. It was getting there. It is nowhere near. It, it felt like it was getting there. Look guys, the tub is not even touching the bottom. He made me go and get this tub, which is big, and that fucking lid got stuck. <laughs> <laughs> and I got kicked. Who by? You! I didn't kick you. I'm going to call abuse on. Right. Oil line next. Well, you're going to have to do your own tub. Oh no, <laughs> sand on my blanket. Oh no! Okay, so now he's on the cooling. He's doing the oil. I hope it goes in your eye. To pay you back for kicking me. I think it, yeah. you, you, I wish I got it on camera because he kicked me. He's like, oh, was that a bit of oil? Oh. Let it drip, drip. Cool you are? Coolant. Coolant again? Yeah, these are coolant feed and then. How many lines is there? Many. How many lines do you actually need? What do you mean need? Might need to get out. <laughs> In your arm, wasn't it? I probably shouldn't have wished it upon him because it went in his eye. Are you up? How's your eye? What? How's your eye? <laughs> Next. <laughs> Did it just pull off itself? What? Oh, you've got to actually like unscrew yeah. them. 
Well, I thought it'd be like you can just go over them, like pull it off. Obviously not. Do on top of the world. Right. So just a quick catch up on what we've done so far. Right. So we've got heat shielding taken off, crossover taken off, boost pipe taken off, downpipe taken off, skull panel and bits taken off. So if you look down there, there is a turbo somewhere down there. And all we've got to do now is take the rest of the water and oil lines off and take, I don't know if you can see these, these annoying studs here. We've got to take them off and then try and somehow wiggle it through the bottom. So we're going to have to take the torque mount for the bottom of the gearbox where you can push the engine away from you. It gives you a little bit of space, just try and wiggle it out. But I think for the garret that we're going to get, I think we're going to have to take the drive shaft out to give us a bit more space. Please someone um, help me out here. I've been pretty sure there's some health and safety guidelines on what you're doing, Greece. I don't think it's pretty safe. Uh, <laughs> you just sat on your car. Safely. No, not safe at all. Out. No, your ass isn't out. I mean, honestly, it's not. But I'll get it in if you want. There's your bum bum. Oh. Either way, we've well, Reese has finally got to the Balties. How many you take out so far? Three. How many do you take out? Quick, quick. I want to say. I know. BRB. Twelve, I think. Twelve. Yeah, it's quite a lot of bolts to take on. It's all in a turbo, isn't it? And of course, it's raining again. Seems to be a thing that happens on Reese's works on his car. Is it rain or dark? You need to stop picking your dates. <laughs> Summer. Yeah. His unit to get sorted pretty quick. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. They're funny. Stop. A wild Caitlin emerges from a cave. <laughs> Wait, I think I'm stuck. Go away. Action shots, bro. Yeah, but I'm stuck. It's not. So we've had to like skip right to the end because I had to feed Louis with my breasts. And what did you do? Took a turbo. No, not before all that. What was we up to before? You were up to the bolty things. So we took the exhaust manifold bolts out. No, we took them out, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, disconnect all back lines, oil lines, water lines. And uh, which are all over my garden. the torque mount for the engine. Then got you to push the engine forward. Which I think I broke on my legs, and, but it's And fine. then we've managed to wiggle it through the gap. And then... We've got the turbo out. Teamwork. I'd say I did most of that, actually. My Zero. legs. Zero. Um, Let's compare hands. Yeah, mine are dirty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yours are always dirty. Cheers. It's like, oh my god, do you like a different colour? Um, I want to show you my garden. You can imagine how pissed off I am. Like a spare car park centre. Scrap yard. Yeah, we, yeah, basically scrap yard because you've got all this crap there as well. Reese's scrap there. What you doing? For the gram. For the gram, bro. Yeah, so that's basically it, guys. The turbo is now off. Um, which is which means next frat, you know, turn the volume off that. Why? Cause I don't want people knowing that I'm doing a video on it. Yes. Not yet. Right, one minute. I'll speak then. You can listen it off. Um, so next Friday we're coming down to Essex. How, what's an Essex accent? No. No, I don't mind. We're going down to Essex next Friday to pick up a Garrett um, and a few other things as well, isn't it? Does that mean you're going to have a screamer out of the bonnet? Yeah. Yeah, so Reese is actually getting a screamer pipe also, which is pretty scary in my eyes, but he likes it's weird crap like that. So yeah, that's going to be happening then. And we've actually also decided to keep the micro. Haven't we? <laughs> Have we? We did yesterday. 
We had a little thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're going to keep the micro. And we're going to start on it soon. Because we can do all sorts of bits and bobs. And my cousin's a welder as well, so there's nothing nothing we can't do, really. But we'll get on to that soon. Um, but yeah, guys, so apart from the turbo, the micro, and everything else, the only thing you need to know right now is the calendar. Link below, they're back out, so, so, so make sure you go and order one, please. Uh, don't forget birthdays, Christmas presents, they're great for them. So that's that. And yeah, so just keep liking, keep commenting, and keep subscribing, and we'll see you all soon with updates on the RS, and obviously the new micro. And the Fiesta will be making an appearance very soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs>